Uh, I wrote this poem about, I guess, you know, how I remembered the, the camps and uh, how my family used to celebrate the uh, festival um, during um, April and May. There's, there's like a, during the monsoon rains, they have uh, this festival called Basak, and it's when everybody goes into retreat. And uh, so I titled it Monsoon Rain Retreat. In the middle of May, the full moon rises into the night sky, illuminating lost travelers who navigate by the stars and are not considered the distant suns of unborn universes, but rather like the moon, figures absorbing light from the reflection of the sun. I wait for the waning cycle, the death and rebirth of the moon during this year's Basak festival. The people stay indoors, and like the monks, they too go into retreat. No one visits the main temple. There is no merit being earned and no offerings made even before the many stone faces of Buddha. Only a candle is left burning in the windows of bamboo huts. A sense of isolation descends onto this quiet village. All this night and the next, my father and I take turns adding new candles, careful not to let the flame go out. The village priest honors each guardian spirit by way of food, flowers, and incense. The rain finally comes. The storms, the droplets of ice born from black clouds, which the wind calls for in obeisance. They let us know that we are at the mercy of the Mother, the mother Earth. I walk among the trees and hear the secrets of forest dwellers, no longer alive, but residing in the branches and leaves of these ancient woods. I find my way home through the thick sheets of grass. Their leaves, the size of lily pads, where I collect the fresh drinking water for my wandering. By the time August approaches, the moon's phase is complete and streams continue to run from the mountains as lakes overflow. The water glistens down the canals leading into the plains where I sit and meditate on the river's voice <coughs> as it arrives in song. Thank you.